Uh, my name is Stephanie Damon. I'm CEO of Cyber Security Challenge UK. And we're here at our Masterclass final, which is the culmination of a year's worth of competitions, all aimed at identifying with the right skills to move people with the right skills to move into the cyber security profession. We have an incredibly realistic scenario which has been put together just for us, for our 42 contestants, by um, BT, by the National Crime Agency, by GCHQ, we've got technology provided by Lockheed Martin and by Juniper Networks. It's, it's an incredible occasion and I think all of the contestants are being challenged to the hilt. Could you talk us through what it is the competitors are going to be facing today? So this morning they were immersed in a real life scenario. Uh, the, uh, the scenario was, was that banking and finance had been catastrophically affected by a ransomware attack against the UK. Um, people could not access their accounts online, they couldn't make chip and pin transactions, uh, they couldn't um, access ATM machines, there was even a stock market flotation that went catastrophically wrong because uh, systems were down. And we've been slowly growing that scenario all day. Yeah, so the moment, you know, halfway through the day, we're looking at um, you know, systems in banking and things like that, but you know, that piece of malware is going to spread, it will spread to critical infrastructure, it will spread, spread to power, it will spread to communications, and it will become really, really urgent for that to be fixed. So this kind of scenario would be at prime ministerial level, and our contestants are reporting to a board of professionals, um, very senior people from industry, from government, and from law enforcement, who have to report to the Cabinet Office and the Prime Minister about how the situation is going to be resolved. Is this your first time in the Cybersecurity Challenge? I attended last year and I managed to place third on back this year to the Google Moscow. Awesome. And uh, have you found the competition uh, this time round? It's been more challenging this year, definitely. Uh, the scenario is uh, very fun, very relevant. And, uh, it's proven to be quite a challenge. Experts from BT, GCHQ and the NCA are doing all they can to solve an unprecedented, extremely expensive and potentially fatal cyber attack. So guys, this is incident is now escalating. It's spreading across all residential homes across the UK. This is greater impact than we were, we were first expecting. Therefore, it's an absolute imperative that you now start to give me some answers. Okay, you've given me an update, but you need to really step it up now. I need some answers about what I need to do to prevent this happening in the future. So let's get out there, come on. This, this challenge that they're facing today, um, how realistic is it? So we've moved to quite an extreme level within this particular exercise. However, um, what it does is it demonstrates the kind of things that are happening in society today, the nature of the attacks and the way in which we would react to them in the real world. And so has the, has the challenge been designed with your input, with kind of real life examples? Absolutely. So we've led members of staff to work with the teams to come up with scenarios and actually to code the um, information that the challenge is being, um, the candidates within the challenge are being asked to solve. It's great because it's like an accelerated learning environment because we've all got different areas of um, knowledge and we do a lot of sharing and, and it just means that we get through a lot of material quickly and um, just get more and more familiar with the different types of software we've got there. And, um, yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. A lot of people have been talking about kind of the need for soft skills as well as the technical skills. I mean, who do you think, the, um, from your experience in the industry, who are going to be the, the candidates who do the best at this challenge? Well, that's very, very difficult to answer. There are 42 highly skilled individuals here, two of which are ladies, and that's fantastic to see because it's the first time we've had any, any ladies in, in, the, um, in the final challenge. Uh, they're all extremely talented. They're being set extremely sophisticated challenges over the next couple of days. Um, and the strongest candidate, not just the strongest technical candidate, but the candidate who has good, good social skills as well, will be the victor. See, it's conspicuous that you are one of only two girls here today out of 42. Yeah. Why do you think it is that there are so few girls who are involved in the cybersecurity industry? Uh, I think, I think, um, I think a lot of women get sort of tired, they presume that it's really kind of um, geeky guys or it's quite a sort of large out um, mentality, but um, it's not as bad as it seems. When I went to Glasgow, I 
I was quite worried about that. They actually thought that was friendly. Um, I think what helped me get into this industry and not be shy is joining the there's a lot of um, geek girl networks around. There's one in London, London geek girl networks. And um, that's a good way to get out and network with other women and then just learn basic skills about different languages. And it just demystifies. Whole world. And do you think it's important for there to be more women in cyber security? Do they bring different skills? I think this is the thing I'm learning is that everyone's got different skills and everyone's got are valuable. And I think the women that I have met in the industry are really good problem solvers and um, tend not to just um, focus on one tiny bit of the jigsaw, but actually uh, fit the whole picture together because they, they tend to have good communication skills and they're good listeners, and so they're not um, limited in the way that they can approach problems. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What the competitions do is to help us identify that hidden talent. There's a lot of people who didn't get taught computing in schools who have no idea there are lucrative careers out there in the cyber security profession. And actually they've no idea how good they are, how, how many skills they have and this sort of competition really highlights that and of course it creates an environment where prospective 